Hi everyone, my name is Dan Scott and welcome to Figma Essentials. Together, you and me are gonna learn everything we need to know to get started as a UX designer in Figma. In this video, we're gonna prototype, we're gonna put it in a phone, and when we click stuff, it moves through to the next frame. Cool, huh? I'm also gonna get a little bit lost a little bit into this video. Something goes wrong, we're gonna fix it together so we all learn, let's get started. Okay, it's exciting time. Uh, how do we prototype it? We'll do some basic stuff first. What we need to do first of all is go from design, which we've been at for a long time now, go to prototype. Okay, and what we're gonna do is have the home page selected. Okay, we'll start with this one. And what you'll notice is this little dot. This little dot is important. We're gonna click, hold, and drag, 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 like a little arrow, and go book <laughs> and stick them on there. Uh, give it a play. You can just kind of click it and then let go. Now, that's it. It's gonna do some basic stuff to start with. We'll do the other pages. So same with this one. Click on the name at the top and say you. Click the name at the top of this one. And there you go. All right. Let's prototype it. Hi everyone, it is Future Dan. I'm just gonna pause the video here real quick and share an update um, to Figma. I'm about to click on this button over here, the little arrow, okay? And that is the present option, okay? And that was the only option when I made this course, okay? The latest update has added an extra option, preview. So present is what we're gonna use for the rest of this video. It opens up our design in a new tab, okay? The difference between present, which we use in this course, and preview is preview opens up in a, like a little window on its own. It still does our interactions, okay? There's no real difference, except one is a small little window that you can kind of keep open all the time, and the other one is a separate tab. There you go. Nice little update from Figma, which is better. I still use the tab option. This one here is fine, but it's always in the way. But it is new, so I might get used to it you can decide which one you prefer. There's no real difference from prototyping other than one's open and one's in a separate tab. I'm gonna close this down and let you get back to the video. Why is his that orange color? I don't know, I tried to re <laughs> recreate the video, but hey, it's close enough. You get back to the video. Okay, to prototyping it, it's called present. Can you see it here, the little play button? Click on that and it will open up. You'll notice another tab. There's our original. We've gone off to this other tab. Okay, and what happens is it'll present from whatever page you were on. So that's not what I want. I want to go back here and if I go to this home page here, okay, just click on the word home page and then present. Okay, it'll basically jump back to that same tab, but at least we're at the home page now. Look at that. That's our sweet home page. So what we're going to do is just click anywhere. Okay, so click once. Oh, it moved along. Click again. Check out page. <laughs> what is that? Confirmation page has had a bad day. What is on there that is doing that? Shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, let's close it down slide again. Uh, what is on there? Nothing. Something's weird happening. Uh, I'll leave it in the course in case it happens to you. Home page. Present. Yours is probably going to have this little load screen as well. There we go. You, you, you. Giant something in the way. I'll figure that out later on. But it's kind of working. <laughs> We're going to ignore the giant black box. Uh, okay, you wait there and I'll figure it out so we all know. Wait there. All right, I'm back. I have no idea is the answer. <laughs> Did you, you already saw it in fast mode. Basically what I normally do in a situation like that is I will start, um, I'll start going through and deleting stuff. I figured it was some SVG doing some weird stuff. So I delete that and I tested it and it still was broken. Let's double check it's still broken. No, it's fixed. Weird. <laughs> I don't know then. Um, so. All I did was delete it and then undo it and it came back to life. So just in case um, something else happens and it's not as easily fixed, like that took me ages. It took me about five, 10 minutes to kind of figure out what was going on. What I normally do is actually I go through and I just delete stuff and then test it, delete stuff and test it, delete stuff and test it. And to see eventually something that I've deleted kind of shows that it was causing the problems. That's normally how I do it. And then I gave up on that. So I just made another version of it and that worked. 
And in this case, I just deleted it and undid it, and it came back. Probably closing the program, opening it back up, restarting the machine. Anyway, all right, that was a little bit of a um, tangent, but these things happen. So it kind of worked. Let's go to our present now. Forget, this is back in the zone, Dan, back in the zone. Okay, so we're going to preview it, and we have done some basic prototyping where you click anywhere, and it moves along. Okay, it gets to the end, and it's kind of stuck. So what you can do, if you kind of wiggle around, okay, you'll notice that um, after a while, some other little options appear. Okay, restart, which is R. It's a really common one. Get back to the beginning. So you can kind of work through your prototype again. You can manually get through it. Can you see down here? Page one, two, three, four. Other things that might be useful is under these options here. You might just you want to go like 100% or full screen to get rid of all the kind of chrome around the outside. Uh, what else will you want to do? That's kind of it. And one thing you need to know is that you don't need to close this every time. Okay, you I don't know, feel like when you're finished, you close this down and then come back over here. But you don't have to. Leave it open and just always go back to it. Because what happens is it updates. See this? If I go in here and I decide to uh, change the color of this. Oh, good point. This happens quite a bit when you're new. And you're like, where did it all go? Okay, because you're on prototype, remember to go back to the design. There's three up the top here. We'll look at inspect later in the course, but whenever you're missing your colors or fonts, it's because you're stuck on prototype, not design. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, you are now going to be another color. Okay, now I'm going to jump out to this tab that's still open, and you'll notice uh, if I go back through my pages, it updates. If you're using the browser version, it's handy to get this tab, pull it out and put it on another desktop. On the desktop version, it's kind of stuck in here at the moment. I can't kind of pull it apart. So just toggle back between the two. If you do want to toggle back between the two, the shortcut is, there's no shortcut. That is a bit of a pain. There might be in the future. Check. You want to Google the thing that says uh, Figma present, uh, what is it called? Yeah, present shortcut. Okay, it doesn't exist at the moment. What we do is we use the command on a Mac, control on a PC, and command one is back to your little home screen. Okay, we've been clicking on that. Command two is whatever the second tab is. That's considered the first one, two, three. So in my case, I'm gonna be going back between command two and command three. Command two, command three, command two, make a change. Command three. <laughs> okay, and it updates instantly. So you can keep that open. Another thing to note is you can't prototype across pages. Okay, so I go to my home page, I go to prototype, and I'm like, I want to go to page something over here. That's not possible. Okay, so it's only between frames on a page. What you'll notice in mine as well is that I have this nice chrome around the outside of an iPhone 8. That might look ancient when you're watching this. Okay, but you can change that. And let's let me show you how. So let's be on prototype. Let's go to show prototype settings or have nothing selected. You end up at the same place. Okay, so having something selected, prototype, click this button or just click in no man's land. Okay, and you can say, all right, I don't want an iPhone 6. I want, uh, I don't know what Google Pixel are like. I own a 4 at the moment. Why, why can't we have a 4? <laughs> you have to look at a really old uh, 2. Um, and you can pick through the different colors. Um, not that they change much on an iPhone, but obviously on uh, iPhone 8, okay, instead of the gold one, you can pick the space gray one or the silver one. It's basically the backs of the phone, so not a whole lot changes. You can change the background color. You can go from portrait to landscape, okay, and when I go into preview now, let's have a look. Hey, doesn't quite work on landscape, but you get the idea. If you can't see any of these, it's because when you started, Okay, remember way back in the beginning when we went, all right, make our first frame. And we picked one of these defaults. Okay, they're attached to this. Okay, so if, even if you've just typed out, you've started with a desktop version and you've typed it out and made it a phone size, it doesn't connect up anymore. So you might have to make phone sizes and copy and paste them on if you want that uh, Chrome there. It's, it doesn't help the testing very much other than it looks cool. You'll also notice that our desktop versions, so let's have a look, desktop, click on this one, even though there's nothing on this, so I'll click on home page. I'm on the frame to one, I okay. Click on the home page. You'll notice in prototype, prototype settings, there's nothing in here. Okay, so I can go and say that I want it to be a desktop, okay, like a laptop, and it's not there. Okay, so there's only a few things you can actually wrap that Chrome around at the moment.
All right, one last thing before we go is if you have been following me, what I want you to do is go back to mobile and I want you to break all of the um, these prototypes here because I don't want to just click anywhere. I want it to go to product details only when I click the learn more button. And I want to go straight from buy now all the way to the checkout page when that button's clicked. At the moment, it's using the entire frame. So to get rid of it, you can do two things. Uh, what I tend to do is just click on the little arrow, hit delete. Or you can click on your frame here, okay, and say, under prototype, can you see it says we've we've applied this interaction called tap checkout? Okay, just hit minus. It's the same thing whether you want to delete it by selecting it and deleting it, or selecting the frame and then just minusing any interactions you've got added. All right, so we're back. We've gone nowhere. We added them, but we deleted them. Let's jump into the next video and we will rig up the buttons, but we'll also add some animations with our transitions. All right, I'll see you there. All right, it is time to upgrade yourself and go from Figma Zero to Figma Hero. So sign up and I'll see you in class. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.